Hey, it's JC1424 once again with Gran Turismo 4. And in this episode of our GT Mode playthrough, part 72, we're going to be doing the Two France Championnat in the European events. This is going to be our third consecutive French event, though. And we're going to use this Renault 5 Turbo from 1980. Or at least I intend to. I don't know if it's going to be competent enough for this, but I don't really have any options with French cars. Maybe I used to, but I kept on selling them because I'm stupid like that. Also, I'm wearing the green cold trickle jacket, so the face cam is going to be acting up with the hue and garbage. I don't know why it has to do that shit whenever I wear green. But yeah, there it is. A license requiring event, a five race championship, 10,000 credits per race, that's 50,000, plus the 35,000 for winning the championship, so that's 85,000 credits. Which is more than what I made last episode doing that championship, the Renault McGain Cup. So we're still driving a Renault, and I can tell you that much. But um, we got to 50% game completion at the end of the last episode. They give us this Jaguar XJR uh, GT race car or whatever the heck that we can use pretty soon for an endurance race. But um, let's look at this track list of sorts. We have Oprah Paris Forward Circuit de la Sarth. And it is the version with the chicanes. I don't, we don't, we never go to the one without the chicanes. Special Stage Route 5 Forward Grand Valley Speedway. Um, and then we got Monaco after that. I skipped, I didn't see if it's forward or reverse or anything. Okay, it's reverse. Okay, I'm glad I looked at that. Uh, oh yeah, I put some rally tires or something on this car at one point. And of course, I gotta turn off the driving aids. They should have already been off from the rally racing I did with this. Because that turns them off, but I guess they put them back on whenever they put the tires on. It's a 102 point race. It's doable. And it's four laps. Let's just see what we got. This fucking car is too hard to drive. I'm going to make an adjustment. Into the Renault Tune Shop. Click on suspension. Let's get a semi-racing suspension. I already know we're making a lot of credits, so I'm not concerned about having to spend a little bit. Well, all Mel Berlinette has returned. This time it's blue. Um, there's another Renault 5 Turbo in there. Renault Sport V6 24V. I, I don't like how that name looks. And then uh, we got a 206, 205 Turbo 16. It's a 109 point race, so it went up a little bit, but the car should turn better now. Um, maybe I can learn to drive the car better. That Clio Renault, that, that looks so nice. I don't know why it's called Clio Renault instead of Renault Clio. Or maybe that's a French thing, I don't freaking know. Oh, it, it's turned one way and then not turned back the other. Well, this guy's having the same damn problem as me. But, ow! Fucking idiot. But we're gonna slip past him. Over here, slow it down. Come on, car. I don't seem to actually have a problem with the Clio Renault, even though it's got the 16, 24 V or whatever the hell. Yeah, that, that don't mean shit. We just got the Renault 5 Turbo, simple name. The Berlinette is struggling. <laughs> they're both struggling with each other. Um, I got three cars to pass and they're all within my sights, so I guess the suspension upgrade really made a difference. Oh! Uh, uh. It's hard to, to not wreck after you hit something because you just bounce off of it. The car goes boing boing. I think that suspension upgrade really made a difference. Can I stop flipping out about like getting loose off of corners? <laughs> it's like, oh, I might be getting loose and I just fucking lose my shit and oversteer and overreact and overcorrect all that. This guy's got some straightaway speed. So that could be a problem at Sarth. I, I think of course it'd be a problem. Anytime I don't have enough speed at Sarth, it'll be the problem. Yeah, it's turning better. I'm gonna have to go all the way down to the bottom of second gear to make the turn happen. Yeah, I'm not gonna be using first gear much at all in this instance. Maybe in that really tight section of the track, like always with all the cars we have, but in this instance, no, not really. You see, he pulled away a little bit in that straight after the tight section of the track, but that was about it there. Like, you have all this room, but you d decide not to check up. And not to give me room. You just go all the way up to the top of the track where I am. 
Uh, yeah, we got the lead. And this is just me and him, how we do in the straights. If I drive good in all these tracks, we should have this championship down now. Gosh, this was a long race. So you wonder if the Sarth race is going to be one or two laps. I kind of hope it's two laps just because it might be a long track, but it's got a lot of straights where I won't be able to do anything. And just like that, that makes up for the money I spent on the suspension upgrade. Oh, no. It's a one-lap race. Shit. I mean, it should still say yeah, 109 a spec point race, but I feel like this is going to be a lot harder than the other one. Yeah, the lights are on. I was just saying at some point after the Nürburgring video that they didn't have the lights on for that, but they do for this one. And they're both at daytime. This isn't sunset or anything. It's not raining. Maybe it's a little overcast. I don't freaking know. Oh, some really nice golden, almost yellow headlights. It's those golden. Like, it's yellow, but it's almost gold. Kind of like a um, Dodge Viper GTSR Team Orica race car. With that one, you don't even have to have the lights on and they, they sparkle gold like that. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking spread out. You can really see the difference in horsepower between all these cars whenever you do that. But then all it takes is just having a better corner than everybody. And I catch him. And I caught this guy. We'll slice him underneath. And we got two cars off track. What the hell? And they're all being stupid. What the fuck? I'm already up to second. I thought this would be very difficult. And you got them all doing that. And the only guy ahead of me right now is the Clio Renault. And he wasn't that confident last race. Although that was probably because of the traffic jam. Well, this really puts this car to the test. And I basically have the old version of the car that he has. So that, that really puts us odds against us. It was already putting odds against us by this being a one lap race. Because I could use an extra lap. Whenever they do that, that really helps us out. He is pulling away. He is very much pulling away in this straight. And then we have two straights after this. We only got a few corners, but... Eh, I have to come back to this race with extra horsepower or some garbage. Oh, hello. Oh, he drafted me. That's what happened. Oh, I could use someone to draft. Ah, there we go. Oh, no one else drafted us. Just this guy. Maybe he did something to his car. I don't freaking know. We got five gears here. No sixth gear. Ah, car, go back the other way. I'm, I'm turning to the left. The car just keeps going to the right. Yeah, I, I really don't see us winning this race. He's 4.4 seconds ahead. We were like two seconds behind him after like the, the first section of the track. You stu stupid. They're all stupid. Except for that guy up there. He's not. I wish he was.
He has more horsepower than us. I thought he just drafted me. He is pulling away, and there's no one in front of him. I, okay. Well, that really sucks. Now I'm not even going to get second. Unless he just starts wrecking like a moron like he has for half this race already. He sucks at driving his car, and we have the same car, but it doesn't matter. Because he's got extra horsepower. And enough to make up for how he drives. Gosh, I'm 13 seconds behind the leader. I'm about to fall into fourth. I hear someone behind me. Oh my god. He drove off the track, and he spun the whole damn thing around. Great job. Great job. Why can't the guy in first do that? Like, why can't... The only guy that hasn't been doing that is the guy in first. He's got a much better handling Cleo Renault or whatever. Oh gosh, the freaking Omel Berlinette. I made him check up. That's all I really needed to do. Just go through these last few curves. And then this chicane. Don't go off the track. Okay, we got it. We got second place at least. So we'll still get paid for this. And I should be able to pay for whatever horsepower upgrade I need to come back and win this. I did gain some time on the Cleo Renault Sport in that last section of the track. Ooh, 6,000 credits. I forgot that it wasn't me like 5,000 because the first place prize wasn't 7,500 anymore. Oh my goodness. It's doing the thing where my face is like pink or something because the TV screen is white and I'm wearing a green jacket and video cameras are stupid. I just remembered, I don't even have to drive this car whenever I come back to do that race. I could just pick like the, the Peugeot 205 rally car. So it's French and it's way more powerful and all that shit. Okay, now we're having the lights on for a night race, which makes sense. I mean, it looks a little bit nicer, but I don't think it really matters whether it's daytime or nighttime. With this car, the lights on, it just looks cool. See, that, that right there, that gray car in front of us, that's the... I think that's the Peugeot 205 not rally car. And then uh, I have the rally car. They gave us that for doing the 206 Cup. Well, they got a great jump on us at that start right there. And it's not really much of a jump. It's just an advantage that they shouldn't have. It's like a rolling start where else it's going to be the same amount of space of a heart. They gas it up and then they just freaking take off. Okay. I think what happens is that they cross the line, then they go full throttle, and then I'm not at the line yet, so I'm still running slower speeds, and this guy is crushing me against the wall like they all do. He ain't so fast now, are he? Well, I mean, he's got straightaway speed, but he's hitting brakes where he doesn't even need to. This will take us up to third. Hopefully we can get up to that Omel Berlinette. I know we got this green car up here. What's this green car? What green... That car did not look that color at all until we raced at night. That's the, the blue Renault 5 Turbo. It looked green all of a sudden. It looked like a, that freaking... What is that car they gave us in green? It's uh, the Daihatsu Story X4. That's what it looked like. I was sitting here wondering, what the fuck? When did they bring this guy in here? That's not even a French car. Oh man, the Omel Berlinette's fucking up the exit. I almost did. Barely kept it off the wall. Now we got the long straight where he can take off. Unless Draft could help me out. Please, Draft, do that. I would appreciate it. Come on. Draft, slipstream. I know that guy's got more horsepower than me back there. I mean, we're in the slipstream, which prevents him from pulling way quicker. If I pulled out, then, then we have a problem. This guy's going to try to pass me before we go into the curve. He's not going to be able to. This guy's going to go really hard on the brakes. The car will not turn left. It only wants to turn right. I turned right a little bit so I could head into the turn. But it didn't want to go back. That's garbage. Stupid garbage cars. My nose itches very much right now. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, my, my, oh my gosh. It's driving me insane. Well, we'll still get him. Because he's terrible at the track, it seems. But, you know, they, they got that straightaway advantage. And we've got the Renault 5 Turbo too, because he sucks at the corners. They all suck at this track. I think they typically suck at this track. All the special Stage Route 5 stuff, and Clubman Stage Route 5. Man, anytime I'm going really quickly, and I need to veer a little bit off to the right or the left, and then go the other direction, the car does not want to go back the other direction. It just will start turning the opposite direction, and, and it won't stop. In reality, my car would be destroyed, but there's no damage in this game.
Oh yeah, I uh, I was off in my own wonderland again, and uh, the race is over. <laughs> that's thirty thousand credits we've made in this video. Well, that's leaving out the fact that I had to spend like seven thousand on the suspension upgrade. Uh, yeah, Grand Valley Speedway Reverse is race four. Just a couple left. Um, I mean, this one's got a long straight. I don't think it's as long as the one at Special Stage Route 5. And it's obviously nowhere near as long as the straights of the Sarth Circuit. Not even one of the straights before a chicane. It's not even that long. So we're just going to take them corners and win the race. The freaking resolution of the game is not working out. It's all buggy and shit. Once again, if you can't see it because you're on like 480p or maybe 360p, then if you put up the quality high enough, then you'll see what I'm talking about. It's, it's freaking ugly. The game does it all the time. Whether you're on the slim or you're on the fat, if you're on emulator, it probably doesn't do that. Which, I mean, I don't usually watch people play games on emulators that much. And not with the intent of watching them play on emulators. I just usually just watch channels because of their content, not because of how they play their games. Um, it's freaking Renault 5 Turbo I've been going up against with more horsepower. Than what did he put in his car? He put a racing chip in there? He put engine balancing? I don't freaking know. Maybe stage 1 engine upgrade? I doubt it's a turbo upgrade, even though it's the Renault 5 Turbo. I don't think it makes sense if they didn't actually allow NA tuning upgrades, so never mind. Yeah, we're making it happen. I'll put it in third gear. They're asking me to put it in third gear. That was probably the smart thing to do. I might have been able to take the corner in second gear. I just realized this track has like three tunnels. Wait, no, maybe maybe it's Deep Forest. Deep Forest has like three tunnels. I can't remember. You got that one right there. And then there's one after that, after the bridge. I think one of these tracks has three tunnels and I always thought it had two. We did just race here for a very long time. Whenever we had that, uh... I used the RX-7, the Endurance Race at Grand Valley. 300 kilometers or whatever it was. Yeah, we had a really long race there. It probably wasn't that long for you, but... It, yeah, it was a good two hours for me. And now we're going through the straights. I gotta deal with this crap. We're hanging on pretty good at the moment. I, I think we're gonna win this race. I hope we win this race. I don't like having to come back to a bunch of races. Money's great. But I'm already making a profit from this video for once. Okay, come on. Turn the car. He's having good cornering speed, too. Stop that. Stop having good stuff. Well, that's a lap around Grand Valley. Reverse. It's been a while since we've had a race at this version of the track. Let's see if I can get this guy. I, I did not know what to do. I, I was confused. I That was a very dire situation where the car was not going to do this and it wasn't going to do that. And so I, I drove into the arrow sign. A lot of arrows telling us where to go. Where else the fuck are we going to go? Aside from where the road takes us. He is not running full throttle through this corner like me. I am trying to catch this guy. We got three laps. But this guy keeps making me race him. I don't want to race him. I want to race the other guy. Would you please go away? I'm trying, man, but the front of this car just doesn't want to turn. So anytime I can gain on him in a corner where I'm best at, the car just doesn't like that. And then I'm lacking in horsepower, so he just gets the hell away from me every time we go into a straight. So this is the closest I'm going to get right here. This track actually has a lot more straights than I gave it credit for. I only think of the front stretch, but then you got a little straight here, a little straight there, and they're long enough for all your corner work to be undone. I could win this race if it was five laps long. That and if I didn't go crashing the stupid wall earlier. Well, he finished the race, and I'm going to finish like yeah, 2.7 seconds behind him. Uh, well, that is 12,000 credits that I've made extra now. And for the third video in a row, we're ending at Monaco. This track has a, a lot of straights, but the corners are tighter. This car is not good at either. I could still probably win this somehow, though. Though I don't even know if I'll be able to finish second. I'm not confident at all in this car. Um, 
We should still win the championship considering like how bad some of these guys have performed in some races. They can win one and then just finish dead last in another race because they can't even handle the tracks. Oh my gosh, it's just so tight in some corners. Like I get on the brakes the right time, I, I turn like I normally do, and then I go to the corner and the car just wants to go straight. It just it, I don't have front downforce of this car. I mean I gave the suspension upgrade, but that didn't do shit for me. It did a little bit. Okay, I guess we're not turning. We'll just bounce off of that. Shift down to second. We're still last right now. I'm just I'm so annoyed by the performance of this car anymore because I just I don't have any faith in it. <laughs> I had I had faith for a while and then it's just like I keep on getting fucked by the damn straights. So yeah, Grand Valley does have a lot more uh, straights than the Special Sage Route 5. The Special Sage Route 5 just has one long ass straight. Ow! Turn, stupid car. And that's... I keep asking it to do things that it, it literally can't do. It cannot turn. It, it doesn't do that. It's just meant to slide around on dirt a little bit. Ugh. I'm trying to... catch this other Renault 5 Turbo that has more horsepower than me. Which, I mean, that might have been a good decision. If I had his car that performs the way his does, then I might have actually caught the Berlinette. For all I know, he might actually get the Berlinette himself. Because he's got that extra horsepower. He was going to finish in front of the the Berlinette last race. Then he, not last race, but the Sarth Circuit race. And he just kept on driving bad and spinning out. And, yeah, that didn't turn out very good for him. Come on. Yeah, we'll get to second. I don't know about the Berlinette. I'm not certain about that at the moment. Come on. That curve section decently. All these damn guardrails so close together make you weave back and forth. Some of these cars, they don't want to do this shit. This is a tiny car, but for a tiny car, it handles so stiffly compared to every other one I drive. And then I hit the inside wall. I can't get the car to turn, and then I turn to the inside wall. I can't adjust to this damn thing. Getting there. Almost there. And I'm underneath him. Okay, let's put it in first gear because that is that's a severely tight corner. That would help me out. The car still does not turn turn anywhere. Ugh. Ugh. Turn the fucking car, stupid car. Son of a bitch, this mm, terrible handling car has pissed me off. I could have won this race, but this car is just too annoying. It won't turn, and then it'll flip out and just it overcorrect with me because I'm trying to get it to do something, and then it won't stop doing what it was doing two seconds ago. Uh, this garbage, tiny four-wheel drive dirt car that doesn't drive with the shit on pavement, I guess. Well, that's... 18,000 credits I made an extra because I have three races I have to go back and do. But we finished second three times and we won twice. So, yeah, we got the championship still. Good shit. And, um, we should be right back up to where we were after doing the Nurburgring 24 hour. Yeah, and we are. 2,954,000. And the prize car for two France championnats. This is a Citroen 2CV Type A from 1954. And there's a one make race that I think are, it doesn't require a license or maybe it requires B license. And it's like the only event left in the game. No license or B license. All right, let's get the hell out of this car. So 
been driving me nuts. Go to France. I need a French car that is good enough for what I'm trying to do. That should be. I don't have to go full freaking Peugeot 205 rally car. This right here that we used last episode should be able to pull it off. An excuse to drive this again, even though it ain't pretty. And then I'll get rid of this. I'll keep the Renault 5 Turbo, even though it sucks. I think at one point in this video, I said we'd made 30,000 credits because we had just finished Special Stage Route 5, the third race. But we didn't get 10,000 from Sark. We got 6,000 because we did not win that. And, oh yeah, I had some racing tires on here. Damn. Look at them juicy, gorgeous headlights on this car. Yeah, we had like 275 horsepower. So of course we're going to pass this guy as soon as we start the race. We're going to pass any of these guys in a straight. No matter what straight it is, you, I, you can count on me to pass them from there. I'm going to go past these guys in the curves, I guess. Watch them all go flying off the track and stupid shit. Well, that guy sure as hell did. That that red McGain, the Alvin time, he almost did. And this guy, he almost did as well. But up to the lead. Why did I have to go through this corner in third gear? This guy can go through it in way faster than me. I still can't corner with this car. I still can't anything with this car. Damn. It would be a good thing to get rid of this car. 11 second lead, which actually surprised me, even though I have 275 horsepower, this freaking car only maxes out at 128 miles per hour. So, whenever I was going down those long straights, you could count on them to keep on closing in on me, but then lose everything every time we go into a corner or anything other part of the track. Because that acceleration's great, but I know damn top speed. That could be adjusted with like a full customized transmission or whatever you call it. But, no, nah, I'd never needed to waste that on this car in the first place. For a spec point race. Uh, I, I hate that I had to do away with the 100 a spec point stuff. And now, Grand Valley Speedway reverse for three laps. Again. Oh, shit. They got the 106 Rally A, the Avon Time, the Omel Burley Net RS Coupe. But don't matter. I got my super tuned up Peugeot 206 and it's a five A spec point race. It's the dead start, so we're gonna spin the tires in this super tuned car. Yeah, there you go. What do I tune up? Okay, I, I guess I shipped up at 30 miles an hour. I ain't got a freaking clue. I think I shipped up too early right there. My car was still revving and crap. We're fine. All that acceleration, we're just gonna launch past these guys. Okay, well that's a car I haven't really been seeing often, that silver car right there. That might be the Xantia, but now that it's white, I can actually see like what other parts of the car look like. And if it's dark, I can't tell anything. And there's a lot less dark colors than there are bright colors in the, the palette of digital video, if you know what I'm talking about. I think this right here is another car that I don't see that often. This old, tiny minivan right here. What is this? Oh, select. And then you got this camera right here. What is that? Is that a... That's a one... Oh, that's the 106. Okay, that's the 106 Rally A, but in a different color than white. Whenever it was white, I couldn't see shit right away. So, it helps to see some cars darker, and it helps to see some cars brighter. And it makes a big difference, I guess. I cannot emphasize enough how much of an annoying experience driving this car is. It doesn't want to do anything but accelerate, kind of. And now the guy in second has caught back up to me. He's right there, freaking Omel Berlinette. This is a damn car. It can't do basic steering shit. And there we got the straightaway speed there, and we still win the race. It was like just this long, long stint of me being miserable trying to drive this freaking car. And then I bash into something because I can't get it to turn and almost lose. And there's that 10,000. We got one more 10,000 left. And we got to go back to Monaco. Where I'm probably going to hit a lot more shit. And the McGain 2.0 IDE Coupe has 
returned with its spearmint green color. See, they can make the green work on that car. I can't make the green work on me. The whole freaking camera loses its its hue. That's that's a word I don't like having to say. Hue. Hugh Jackman, that's that's an exception. Everyone likes to say Hugh Jackman. They like to see him, they like to watch him, they like to smell him, and they, they like to say Hugh Jackman. Whenever it talks about the stupid coloring and Hugh, that I hate that word. Then it's just awkward. Ow! Oh my god. I gotta make my way through there somehow. You leave the gap there and I go for it, I got the run, and then you just crush me. Gran Turismo AI. They have been complaining about the same thing for 70 Two videos now. Let me catch up to these guys. I, I think my face cam is about to run out of storage. And I've only been recording for like two hours and 15 minutes. I used to be able to record for almost three and a half hours. Then Samsung gave my phone a UI update. And now, without upgrading the quality or something, my, my longest I can record a video is like two hours and 15 minutes. Hopefully I can pass this guy before it runs out of memory. Can we do it? Oh, are we gonna make it? Yeah, there we go, the camera's still rolling. Needless to say, I'm surprised to see the camera is still rolling, considering it upped the video codec or something in the stupid Samsung update. Unless, of course, the reason why it wouldn't record for three hours last time I did a session that long was because I had something on the phone taking up space that I didn't know about. Maybe I deleted it since then. But I mean, I now have been recording for two hours and 19 minutes. But that's it. We've won all the races in two France Championnat. And I guess we only had to do eight races. Five of those were just to get a finish that would be sufficeable to win the championship. Is sufficeable a word? It can be. If it's not, then it can be. Well, thanks for watching this episode of the Gran Turismo 4 GT Mode series. Started for 3,700 credits. We're selling it. And also, this is going to be the last video recorded in this house. My mom's house. Obviously, I recorded it, like, way ahead of time. This series right here. As opposed to other things where things are changing at different times. And you'll see me have the setup that I should still have by the time I actually get to the present day stuff I'm recording. I don't know what car I should be in right now. Maybe I should be in the car they just gave me? The, the, that tiny thing? Where'd they put that? It should be in the cars I haven't driven yet. Um, yeah, there it is, the Citroen 2CV Type A. This is what we'll use in the first episode recorded in my new house that me and my girlfriend um, rented and leased out together. That's no longer new by the time uh, this comes out. But see you next time, that's that, and episode over.